Orleans, Louisiana, 62 years ago. I am a compulsive eater. I was 200 pounds in the eighth grade and almost 300 pounds when I graduated high school. I went through a lot of eating disorders because I didn't feel I was accepted because I was fat. I was made fun of, I was looked down upon, and I had some very low self-esteem. And I tried all kinds of ways to lose weight. I began first with diet pills, then 30 laxatives a day, then throwing up three to four times a day, and then finally starving, going down to 119 pounds in two and a half months. Oh. I ended up in a hospital, and a nurse asked me a question that changed my life. And that question was, do you want to live or do you want to die? And I just chose to live. And I learned how to eat with the six groups, the food groups that we all know. And I started to exercise, which I had never done in my entire life. And I came to Los Angeles, and I became a waiter in an Italian restaurant. And I saved my money for two years, $25,000 in cash. And I opened my little exercise studio 36 years ago in Beverly Hills called Slimmons. And I opened this place up because I wanted a place for people to go who were overweight, obese, out of shape, and had very, very, very little self-worth. And it changed my life. From that, someone walked in, and all of a sudden, I was on General Hospital. For three and a half years, I played Laura, which was hard. <laughs> <laughs> I actually played Richard Simmons on General Hospital. Your mothers or grandmothers saw it. And I taught people how to exercise. And then I got my own show, and God has just been so good to me all these years. And there's a couple reasons I wanted to come to you tonight. You all are the age of being my children. And I want to talk to you as a parent maybe has never talked to you before. You were only here once. God has bestowed you with life. He could have made you a rose that lasted seven days or a butterfly that only lasted three weeks. But he chose to give you the highest form of life, that of being a human being. And with that, he gave you goals and dreams. And I'm here to tell you, and I don't really know you, but there's no one in here who can achieve health and who cannot achieve success. I really wasn't looking for success. I was just looking at a way to prove to myself that I was worthy of helping other people. Because being a teacher takes on great responsibilities. Every day I call around 50 overweight and obese people. Some of them were housebound five and six and seven hundred pounds, and you don't even know how long they're going to last. But I call them and I sing to them, and I write them emails, and when I go to different towns, I visit them. <clears throat> it's so wonderful to help others as you came here tonight for this fundraiser. And I know you're busy, and I know you're studying, and I know you have a tough, tough schedule, so I totally appreciate you coming out for the old sweat to the oldies man. <laughs> but listen to me. This is how I got to achieve all that I've achieved in my life. Every morning I get up and I make a list of things I have to get done. I plan my days, I plan my meals, I always have time to exercise. And I always have time to dream. The last song is a new song by Bruno Mars called Talking to the Moon. Talk to the moon. Don't wish upon a star, they're too small. <laughs> wish upon the moon. And get out what you really want to do in life. But you got to take care of yourself. You got to eat right. You got to make time to move every day. And you also have to make time to be kind to others, because that is the way you really get to heaven. It's what you do for others on this earth that really make the difference on how your life is going to be remembered. You got to make time for breakfast. I know you have a busy schedule, 
But if your body isn't healthy, you're not going to study well, and you're not going to achieve all the things you want to achieve. <coughs> Sit up straight, everybody. <laughs> Just remember this little talk we've had, because I put this music on, and it was like you all didn't, exercise, didn't even know what you were doing. You lifted your legs so many freaking times, you'll be so sore tomorrow, I don't even know what you're doing. <laughs> I'd like to end this, if you don't mind, with a prayer. Let's bow our heads, please. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for bringing us together today. What a joy and the blessing that you have given me to come and meet all these really wonderful people. Dear Lord, watch over them. Watch over their dreams and their goals. Watch over them as they go through life and try to grasp everything and make it worthwhile for them. Please bless all of these people and their families tonight. Amen. Thank you so much for letting me.